opportunity to ease into camp man, you know, from a physical standpoint. And that's a great mindset to have. Man. You know, I feel like you got to take care of the vets. You know, um, they seen a lot of ball. You know, it's all mental reps you get in, and um, physical reps they come in. But it's, like, it's mostly mental with the game. The coach said practice is a little bit shorter, maybe yeah. than what guys are used to, but high tempo, high intensity. Do you like that approach? Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely, you know, we get, we get the, we get the, we got to run to the ball mostly, mostly for us. So I feel like um, with a little short practice, you know, make sure we get a, a get some good work in. Thanks. As long as you've been around, how much work do you really truly need in summer? Training camp preseason. Like I said, it's all mental though, man. Um, you need the work. You got to get the reps, man, because you know that's when you get soft it's the injuries and stuff like that when you don't put the work in and the physical running to the ball, just doing anything like that, just running. Especially in the Florida Heat, you, know, you can't beat that. We saw good plays today from Noah and from Trill. What does each one of those two guys show you at? Man, showing that they're growing and they're improving. You know that's what it's all about, especially at the cornerback room, making plays on the ball. You know, improving each day. X, how much nicer was coming to camp this year as opposed to last year when your contract situation was up in the air? And I love being around the guys, man. You know, I feel like the, <laughs> it wasn't a big difference. You know, I just love being around the guys and taking care of the business. You talk a lot about having a good mentality. So obviously it's not the real game at the end of the day, but right. the Madden ratings did come out. A lot of people were talking about being disrespected. How does it feel for you to lead the lead in interception, be here for a veteran for so many years? And I'm used to the disrespect, though. You know, it just add a little bit more motive to it. You know, uh, they always disrespect players from Miami. I don't know what it is. You know, we gotta do the unthinkable to get recognition here. So it's like, it just add motive to it. It just add a fire to the motor. Actually, when you describe Coach McDaniel, because he actually took a selfie with all of us in the media room today, he says it's about upbeat and positive. Oh yeah, he always being positive. You know, that's one thing I say I, I, I see from Mike McDaniel being positive, you know, and bringing the energy. And that's what it's all about, especially from the head coach. And you, once you see that from the head coach, it, it trickles down. I know Coach said that Byron hopes to be ready for week one. That's his plan. Are his spirits good? Uh, yeah, obviously not being able to be out here today. Oh, yeah, our spirits good, man. I, I feel like on that question, you got to talk to Byron about that. Did Needham get an interception? We couldn't see Kaplan's was in front of Noah. 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 Noah had a breakup. A Noah had a breakup. Yeah. PBU. Yeah. Yes. So we, we, got, we got to get this clear. Yeah. We couldn't <laughs> see Kaplan's was in front of us. Yeah, we only had one pick today. Yeah. Speaking of Noah, what are you seeing from him that's maybe different this year than the previous years? I feel like he locked in right now, man. And, uh, you know, it's the first day. You know, we got to. It's a long, it's a long camp. You know, you got to get better each day. You know, I told him when he made a play on the ball, I said, man, do that every day. And we, he had that mindset, take one day at a time. I feel like he can, he can be prepared, get ready to play. We're doing How excited are you to see what Javon can become? Man, I feel like the sky's the limit for that guy, man. You know, um, you can see him flying to the ball. Everything he do, he feel like he's been here probably like 10 years, you know, and I don't expect nothing less from him. We're working on a project talking to the top corners in the league about who the toughest covers are. Who, which wide receivers when you see in the schedule, like, man, I know I'm going to have to gear up today? Uh, I respect everybody I play against. You know, you can't sleep on everybody. I feel like as me, um, a guy see me on the matchup, I feel like he gonna bring everything he got to try to embarrass me, do everything to me. So I, I feel like the guy. I haven't looked ahead of the schedule though, but I feel like each guy every week, I feel like I'm gonna have to bring the best A game to him. Maybe not necessarily this year, but in years past, is there a guy that you really said, man, I'm proud of myself because I held my own against this this wide receiver? Uh, not really, nobody. <laughs> nobody really. And uh, obviously, you talked about this a little bit in the spring, but defending this offense, how much more difficult will, is it going to be with these backs, with Tyreek, obviously, with Cedric Wilson? Is it going to be, I think, enormously more difficult for opposing defenses to defend this offense? Yeah, I mean, like you said, you got you to gotta worry about Tyreek, the running backs. You got to worry about Jalen, Cedric. You know, it's a couple guys on the offense that I feel like we got a lot of weapons that can help Tua out a lot. Thanks so much. Like four or five from passing Pat and Sam on the cornerback uh, INT list. Oh, oh yeah. Have you talked to them at all? About no, that? not about that. But you know, um, you know, that's one thing I feel like I'm gonna look forward to this season. You know, uh, finish at the top.